So, hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a soundboard using Raspberry Pi. So, what is a soundboard basically? This is an array of buttons where when you press each button, it creates some, it plays some sound. The soundboard is useful for playing different animal sounds or other sounds to kids or maybe for a party purpose where you can say play some memes or funny sounds or some questions and you know play around with it. I made one soundboard demo with animal sounds. It plays the sound of a lion. It plays crows. It's an elephant. Uh, this application is uh, written using Python programming, so I will also show you how to write the code to play music interface keypad. So let's get started. So for this project, you'll need a Raspberry Pi, and it should have a pre-installed SD card with Raspbian in it. You need a speaker, and most importantly, the keypad and lots of wires these are female to female wires and lastly we need a plastic box now let's see how to connect the keypad with the raspberry pi now i have shown the picture here this is the pin layout of the keypad there are seven pins three columns and four rows and exactly this is mapped here like this with four rows and three columns and the mapping goes as follows like you have column one two three and the pins all these pins are bcm numbering and here is a, a printout from wikipedia where it shows which pin corresponds to what number and this is the way it is and i'm going to connect each pin and its connection in the keypad Now that I have set up the hardware connection, I'm going to download the source code from my GitHub account and here it goes. Lines soundbox.py with Python application. Soundbox as such this is the shell script. It starts the Python application and this is the soundboard service. This is the service file which we will be installing in Raspberry Pi so that the application gets started uh, in the boot up automatically. So once you switch on the Raspberry Pi, this soundboard will start running without manually started it and there is a readme here and there are nine folders if you see for the nine folders I have just put a test wave file and in this this is a this is a placeholder where you need to copy your own files it can be mp3 or wave You see the README here. It shows that you need to install the pad for Pi. This is the keypad library. This is the Pi game. 
use this for generating sounds and then instruction on how to enable your system D service so that your application starts in the Now I will just follow the instruction given in the readme copy the soundboard service to the PTC system D system and also with the next command. didn't throw any error so I assume that it has installed the soundboard service in my boot up system so now when I boot up next time the application will start running automatically soundboard the message is a simple patch which just navigates to the soundboard directory where we have checked out the github first runs the python application full path like that's shown here so this is the soundbox.py the python application which will be running the python so you see in the beginning there are a lot of imports here the important parts of the import are the pack for pi the keypad library for python and the other one is the mixer module from pygame I use mixer module for playing the wave or mp3 file or any other format let's say so if you go down there are a lot of functions which are defined and end of all functions here starts the main code here if you see there is a keypad lookup here is the number of pins which are connected to the rows and here is the columns and this is the keypad factory which comes part of the pad for pi module and we get a template factory and create a keypad out of it with the definitions as provided by this variable and here the row pins are defined here the column pins are defined once you create a keypad now you can install a interrupt handler for the keypad this interrupt handler will be called each time you press it another thing in the middle is the mixer.init this is just an initialization function which needs to be called in order to use the mixer end of the application if you see once you register your interrupt handler or key press handler the process which listens to the keypad runs in the background invisible to the user and here I kind of make a busy wait and beyond that once you kill the application with control C there is a keypad cleanup which will clean up the application so this is all about the application now the entry point to this is here the process if you go to the process key, where it prints the key value, this is done for debugging purpose. And here is the path, get path. When you press a key, say 1 to 9, there are folders from 1 to 9. And any key press between this to this, I go to this particular folder, see if there is any file, and I pick a random file and return it. If you press any of the other buttons, the star will choose a random folder and a random file. Zero will just play a last played one. Let's say you play a file by pressing the three button which will go to the folder three and play a random file. If you want to repeat the same then you press zero. Likewise hash will play the previous. Let's say you play three and then go and play 2 then the previous button is 3 if you press 0 then it plays the 2 if you press hash then it plays the 3 and the 
second line is the play sound it just simply stops the music if it is already playing load the new path that's a wave for mp3 and then play it I use this stop function in case if you are pressing a button and the music is playing and you press another button I don't want the application to completely complete the music and then go for the next I just want to stop that immediately and then switch to it. and this Pi game mixer is very handy in doing this type of task the rest of them are just uh, helper functions to get random file get a random file in a folder etc I've updated the system D so the soundboard application will start running as Raspberry Pi boots up so you don't need to start it manually and now I have created the table like number one is say lion so if you want an elephant you can say There are so many tones that each time it tries to play a different tone of the same folder. Say so for example, I have created nine folder. If I want a random, then I press this. Each time it plays a random number. And when it plays, if I press this, it stops and plays something else. So it doesn't wait till the complete audio is played, instead it just stops in the bottom. Let me play cow and dog. If we play this, it plays the one which was played previous to the one what was played. So this plays the one before.